Hello everyone, got five dirty jokes for you today. So Grandpa was celebrating his 100th birthday and everybody complimented him on how athletic and well-preserved he appeared. Gentlemen, I will tell you the secret of my success, he cackled. I have been in the open air day after day for some 75 years now. The celebrants were impressed and asked how he managed to keep up his rigorous fitness regime. He replied, Well, you see, my wife and I married 75 years ago. On our wedding night, we made a solemn pledge. Whenever we had a fight, the one who was proved wrong would go outside and take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> so a big, burly man knocked on the door of the pastor's house one day and asked to see the minister's wife, a woman known for her charity work and her love for the poor and helpless. The woman opened the door and saw the man had tears streaming down his face. Oh, whatever is the matter? She cried out. I come to you today, dear woman, for the purposes of doing charity and good work said the man in a hopeless voice. Come in, come in. The woman admitted him inside and they sat in her living room. Madam, said the man in a broken voice, I wish to draw your attention to the terrible plight of a poor family in this district. The father is dead, the mother is too ill to work, and the nine children are starving. They are about to be turned into the cold, empty streets unless someone pays their rent, which amounts to $400. How terrible! exclaimed the preacher's wife. May I ask who you are? The sympathetic visitor applied his handkerchief to his eyes. I'm the landlord, he sobbed. <laughs> so long ago, Olaf Swenson, out in his pasture in the ancient north, took a lightning quick kick from a cow. Right in his crotch, writhing in agony, he fell to the ground. As soon as he could manage, he took himself to the village doctor. He said, how bad is it, doc? I'm getting married next week and my fiancée, Lena, is still a virgin in every way. Well, I'll have to put it in a splint to let it heal and keep it straight, said the doctor. It should be okay next week but leave it on Dara as long as you can. He took four tongue depressors and formed a little four-sided splint and roped it all together. Quite an impressive work of art for those times. Olaf mentioned none of this to Lena, married her, and celebrated all night drinking. After the feast, he carried her to his house. As they got inside, Lena ripped open her blouse to reveal her beautiful, untouched body. She said, Olaf, you're the first one who has ever seen this. Olaf dropped his pants and replied, look at this Lena, still in the crate. <laughs> so an older couple were lying in bed one night. The husband was falling asleep, but the wife was in a romantic mood and wanted to talk. She said, you used to hold my hand when we were courting. Wearily, he reached across, held her hand for a second, and tried to get back to sleep. A few moments later, she said, Then you used to kiss me. Mildly irritated, he reached across, gave her a peck on the cheek, and settled down to sleep. Thirty seconds later, she said, Then you used to bite my neck. Angrily, he threw back the bed clothes and got out of bed. Where are you going? She asked, to get my teeth. <laughs> so a man with a nagging secret couldn't keep it any longer. In the confessional, he admitted that for years he had been stealing building supplies from the lumberyard where he worked. What did you take? His priest asked. Enough to build my own house and enough for my son's house and houses for our two daughters and our cottage at the lake. This is very serious, the priest said. I shall have to think of a far-reaching penance. Have you ever done a retreat? 
No, father, I haven't, the man replied. But if you can get the plans, I can get the lumber. <laughs>